So the day is starting well, that's if you're awake enough to notice that. Uh, there is coffee available in the, um, in the expo area. They've got some great coffee if you feel you need it. And we are about just under one half hour to walk you down to the swift cars. You have, you have one half hour now until we take you down and get you ready for that balmy 17 degree swim. It'll be lovely. Just like bathwater, trust me. All right, so we'll see you. Uh, just keep working away, get your things done, and uh, we look forward to taking you down there for a great day of racing and having fun with a bunch of other mad people. men and women, we need you guys out of the water now. Those of you warming up, just keep sticking over there to the side, but we would like to get all professionals out of the water, please. When hitting anyone, remember it's all about safety, having a fun race and a great race. That's what it's about. Swim, bike, run, have fun. Bayless, 28 year old pro from Great Britain, a five time top 10 Ironman finisher, uh, including Ironman UK, I might add, in Sherborne, which will take place on August 19th this year. He was seventh at Longleat back in 05 with a 424 18. And Longleat was the very first qualifier that headed people to. Clearwater for the Ford Ironman 70.3 World Championship. So it's quite an honor for the UK to have been the very first qualifier. Um, he's also an Ironman New Zealand. Been there. We just wish him well. Stephen, of course, racing with his lady friend, Bella Comerford. We'll get to her in a moment. Finish a bit with the men here. Someone else we want to mention, of course. Uh, we have a man who was top, was first in his age group back in 05, back in Longleat. And uh, he had some great finishes, age group in Ironman Hawaii, a third. He eventually turned pro. We welcome him this year to the pro ranks. Also from Big Britain, Scott Nadley. Turned, he turned pro this year and it's seventh in Ironman South Africa. Someone else I'd like to mention is Nicolas Labrun, or Nicolas Labrun of France. He's uh, last year at the Ironman 70.3 in St. Croix. He, won that event. He's an ex-Terra world champion. And of course we want to welcome Richard Allen. Most of you know him if you've been here second in long lead in 05. Just over a minute left. Wimble ball third last year. It was a great race last year as we're coming up to one minute to go. Everybody out of transition, if you can hear me up there, final call, folks, to exit transition. We have one minute to go. So I want to mention Bella Comerford, four-time Ironman Florida champ. Uh, last year's long-distance world championship uh, champion for the ITU. She's had Ironman UK podiums before. She's Ironman South Africa podium earlier this year. Fourth at Longleat back in 05 in that original qualifiers. We're at 40 seconds. Julie Dibbins, another one of the favorites, 32 years old, Great Britain, two-time Olympian, two-time Commonwealth Game champ, winner of the Ironman 70.3 St. Croix, as we are 30 seconds to the start of this race. Katja Schumacher as well, past winner of numerous Ironmans, including Florida and Germany, consist, uh, consistently in the podium, including an Ironman UK. So ladies and gentlemen, you are now in the hands of the starter. The next sound you hear will be the horn. Thank <laughs> you. 
these first athletes out of this lovely 17 degree water. I hope you are. We ask for coming. We want to hear a lot of cheers. You're going to have sore arms, sore legs today, sore arms. So we'll get to him in a minute. Uh, Nicholas Lebrun, the front, actually. Um, so, what did you think? I mean, did you expect this? You saw the field, uh, and so far with my name, and I knew it's him. I've been playing fine. I knew it's him well, and I'm just to see you know, see. And I rode the first lap, steady, waiting for guys to come, and then and Paul and Paul did well in the second lap. And, I knew he was riding well, I was so bad how he was off, and, and I didn't really worry too much. I knew he was going to be hoping on the run a little bit, but he, he ran, he ran pretty good. And I caught him quite quickly in the first lap, and from then on it was a case of watching James behind him, and because he was closing it after then, and right up to 12, and, and at that point I knew it was all right. Do you realize it's a new swim course record? Oh, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I'd say that's nice, he says. I'd say he's rather humble. Your 2007 Ironman UK 70.3 champion, Fraser. Awesome job, mate. Go have some oat cakes and some beer. We love to please them. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's enough time to interview her before a second comes in from the looks of it. From Great Britain, 32-year-old Julie Dibbins. And Julie, that was a dominating performance. It was a, a very poor day. I love it. Things happen to me, well, you've got a swim course record. We're pretty sure of that. It looks like a bike course record. Possibly a run course record. We know overall it's a record for the women. Uh, and... 
mean, that's amazing, but it wasn't easy because something happened on the bike, didn't it? Yeah, my, uh, my handlebars broke um, about after about 10 miles, so I had to ride most of the way just kind of holding on to the bars. Um, and at one point, I, I kind of stopped and picked something up off the road and thought maybe I should just call it a day because I thought it was going to be too dangerous. But uh, I knew I had to ride back anyway. So my plan was just to, to ride back, do the lap, and then come in. But once I got here, it was too hard to, to come back in, so I just went back out again. Yeah, and set a bike course record with a broken bike. That's not bad. Um, rather modest, I'd say. She's just starting to do it because I think the last time I saw her race and had a chance to chat with her was way back. We won the 98 uh, amateur uh, world champion, as I recall, in Lausanne. And uh, uh, you've come so... F I haven't seen you in a long time. I mean, I've watched your results, but I haven't had a chance to chat with you. Um, how do you feel about Great Britain right now? And you've got some great athletes coming up, both men and women. Yeah. I think it's a really interesting year for us because um, the last sort of five or six years we've had such a strong focus on Olympics and Olympic distance, but with the, the cut in lottery funding, a lot of the women, a lot of the men are, are deciding to, to switch to the non-drafting races, but we've obviously still got our top athletes drafting, so you've got the Andy Cave out there kicking ass and Michelle Dillon back you know, in, in top form, and obviously Tim and AJ and those guys, so I think it's looking good, and not just in Olympic distance, but in, in all spectrums of triathlon. So this is your second 70.3 win because of St. Croix just back in early May. Um, what's next for you on the calendar? Um, I'm going to go and race European champs uh, in two weeks time in Copenhagen, um, and then I'm going to go out to the States and hit the last one for the Ladies and gentlemen, your 2007 Ironman U.S. 70 70.2 champion from Great Britain, chasing her 39-year-old Katja Schumacher, long-time, long-time Ironman athlete. Great to see Katja. She drove a little uh, motorhome over here from Germany. Good way to come over because she had a place to stay, your late entry. And Julie, we just want to wish you and all the Brits well. You guys are really stepping up to the long course, even at the ITU long course last year in Australia. You guys are kicking behind. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support out there. All right, thanks to uh, Julie.